Why I felt passionate is that was yesterday when I prepared my speech today, and my daughter laughed that. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know why, and it was a little bit strange because my daughter couldn't understand English. Maybe that because they can felt my passion on the speech, so they laugh. Thank you very much. Mmm, mm. we'll cut the cheese. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Toastmaster, fellow members, and anyone who doesn't like smiles. Two years ago, I didn't have a good bad habit. I didn't eat vegetables. I only ate seafood, steaks, and meat which made my farm really, really smelly. Anyone who smelled my farm was like under biochemical weapon attack. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Go to <that> one one! <laughs> Not only people around me, my family were also annoyed. But I stayed with my daughters at home and was scared and said, Daddy, will you fart tonight? <laughs> When I slept with my wife, I held her hand, kissed her lips, and we're ready to have pleasure. But I farted. <clears throat> Honey, did you do that? Then she turned her face away, and no pleasure. On the next day, my wife told me seriously, Honey, maybe you should change your dad habit. It didn't smell very good. Come on, let me cook for you. I always felt so sweet when my wife said she was willing to do everything for me, except for her cooking. <laughs> she made boiled carrot, boiled cabbage, and boiled cucumbers. Ah! Everyone, when she wasn't there, I threw them away. Daddy, what are you doing? Don't tell your mom. One day, I had a big meal with my friends. There was lots of seafood, a huge steak, and a bunch of sweet potato chips. And do you know what happened next when I ate so much protein and sweet potatoes? I farted for almost a whole night. <laughs> <laughs> my wife stared at me angry and ran out of the door. And my daughter sneered at me and said, Daddy don't eat drinks. Daddy smells stinks. <laughs> my wife got mad because I didn't care about my health. She tried to help me, but I ignored her. As I ignored her, she didn't talk to me anymore. And we had a bad relationship. And of course, we didn't have pleasure <coughs> for over six months. My daughter kept away from me. Oh, daddy don't eat greens, daddy smells things. And even my body warned me. My weight was over 100 kilograms. And my blood pressure was high, like type 101 and my fart smelled like a piece of stool. But I just didn't want to face it. Come on, that's not a big deal. Everyone farts. Until one day in the morning, it was so painful in my stomach, and there was blood in my pants. In a panic, my wife and I rushed to hospital. The doctor checked out my body and said, Mr. Mike, there's something wrong with your large intestine. We stop your bleeding, but if you don't change your diet habit, next time you will be on operation table to deal with cancer. What shall I do, doctor? Do more exercise and eat healthier. My 
wife and daughters worried about me so much. And I realized that if I didn't change my bad habit, I could lose everything. My wife, my daughters, and even my life. It's time to make changes. No more excuses and no more escape. First, I started to jog. Oh, oh, I hate it by 100 kilogram weight. And I ate my wife's cooking. <laughs> At least it's healthy. And I rejected junk food. Mike, you don't need them. You can do it. After making some changes, good things happened. I lost my weight from 100 to 80 kilograms. And also, I felt more energetic. And my fart wouldn't smell so disgusting. <laughs> My wife was so happy to see what had changed. And my daughters wouldn't keep away from me anymore. Mmm, daddy don't stink because daddy eat greens. By the way, my wife and I had pleasure <laughs> every night. My friends, have you ever escaped from problems? Running away won't change anything. It will cause your problems come from bad to worse. But if you choose to face the problems and find a way to solve them, they will turn into opportunities to make you stronger and better. Oops. What the part is that? It's me. But don't worry, it won't be so disgusting anymore. Toastmaster.